Hi, this is Jin Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi Apps, and I want to show you a practical uh, use of Key Dino Price and how you can increase your um, average sale price when you have um, a lot of items of uh, one specific kind. So uh, let's look at uh, the application itself. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start my Key Dino Price. And basically, key Dyna price raises and lowers price depending on events. Um, and so we're going to look at the rules. And the item that I want to show you today is this Generation X cell phone antenna signal booster. Um, basically, this is a little uh, antenna booster. It's a little thingy. I have about 10,000 of those that I started uh, to sell. And um, my average price for those is a dollar and nine cents. So right now the price is at a dollar thirty-two. So any any time I sell more than a dollar and nine cents, I'm making. So at at a dollar and nine cents, I'm already making a profit. But at a dollar and nine cents and something more, I'm making even more profit. So let's look at this item and um, how it's sold and um, how price were affected by the application. So let's go down to when I started the application. And you can see that I first started and got a sale for a dollar and ninety. So that was great. Got two of them. Because I got a sale, I got traction and exposure on best match therefore my item went up by 10 cents and sold another one then at a dollar and 29 people just thought that it was too expensive so then it didn't sell for six days and it lowers its price back to a dollar oh nine at a dollar oh nine somebody found it interesting and bought it because somebody bought it the price went up and because somebody bought it I got traction on best match, therefore my item was sorted higher. Then I got somebody to buy five at a dollar nineteen. So you can see how the price here is going down, down, up, 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 down, down. And really what is very interesting about this is that because this item sells a lot, and I sold one, you know, at ninety-nine cents, I I break I broke even with this one, but it got me traction. And then the price went back up and back up and back up. And now it's at $1.31. Now let's look, uh, what if we look at my item on best match and see where, it's, where it sorts. So if somebody would search for Generation X cell phone antenna signal booster, that's something that's very um, branded. So. I'm not the first, not the second, not the third, fourth. I'm being ranked fourth with a cheaper price than the three other people above me. So who do you think somebody's going to go for? They're probably going to go for my item right here. And the price is still going to go up and down as, as it goes. So let's look at the rule here that I had created. That rule takes the item ID here, fills up the title and everything. And that rule says that it will not lower the price lower than 99 cents. It just won't. How high can it go? It can go up to $100. Of course, it will never reach that. But the point is to say that it can go. There is no limit as to how high it can go. Even though 100 is a limit, it's never going to reach it. When there is one sale, it goes up by one cent. When there is no sales for 48 hours, it goes back down by one cent. And the price hover like this. Now let's go back to, to the item here. And let's look at all of that. So remember my average price before I used this application was a dollar and nine cents. So now I'm going to copy all of this. I'm going to do a little bit of magic and Boom, 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 up, all of my price are here. Do you like that magic? Pretty slick, huh? Okay, so I've copied all of those sales here. Up 
and down and up and down and for whatever reason it the total is 58 and it took 50 of them now of course that does not take into account the numbers that were purchased which I actually should do so let me do a little bit more magic well this time you're probably gonna see the magic so let's copy oops okay can't do that let's make a new workbook Excel book 3 is not responding dun, dun, dun. okay new book thank you let's copy all of that let's get rid of those two columns let's copy this and that put it in my notepad plus there let's remove all of that all right 50 occurrence up let's make a new work group don't worry this is just Excel you know I'm sorry I can't explain Excel but the point here is I'm trying to do a sum of all of that so let's see let's sum it there and we're gonna take this one actually let's copy that right here so we have 82 item so let's look at our average price now is 58 no oh no what am I doing sorry okay so let's calculate our pricing there take that all the way up all right so this is my price now let's sum all of it that has nothing to do with the application but I'm just trying to show you my calculated average price and we're gonna do this and that so we can sum all of them why do we have 88 now? Alright, let's go to B4. Okay, we don't want B4, we want B1. So from B1 there, so we have 82, and from C1 there we're tolling so we sold ninety five dollar with eighty two items so our average sale price is a dollar sixteen and twenty four cents which is pretty much the same thing that it was on this first um, workbook but I wanted to get it accurate so before my item uh, my average price was a dollar or nine so that is a difference of 7.2 cents on every item well that's nothing you know who cares about 7.2 cents but the fact is that I have 10,000 of those and so when I'm gonna have when I'm gonna when I am going to be done selling those 10,000 by using key diner price I'm gonna have made a difference of seven hundred and twenty four dollar and thirty nine cents so I could sell them all at a dollar and nine cents or I can use key diner price and have a price that goes up and down and sure it goes below let's go back here it goes below my average price sometimes here but because it does I get back some traction on best match and my item is showing higher and higher and higher and therefore people go buy it you can see here that from January 29 no sale so it lost traction you know and it still lost traction but then it went to a price here where it got some traction and then you can see one hour later boom I sold it for a little bit more 
and it lost a little bit of traction so on the tenth here but because it was at nine cents one hour later boom sold one for 19 sold two more to that same person then the next day or like four hours after five hours later boom I sold some more and then the price went down because I lost a little bit of traction and then it went back up and and so on and so forth but the bottom line is that by using this technique on a 99 cents or a dollar and nine cents average price item I'm going to be making $724 more on 10,000 item. So imagine if you're selling some $3 item, this is multiplied by 3. So I hope this helps uh, some of you understand uh, what Key Dino Price does. Okay, I'm not going to save all of that. Um, follow or um, just, just sign up to our um, Our YouTube channel oh man I just had a brain fart there follow us on our YouTube channel um, so you can see all of those new video you can find us on Facebook uh, Kiwi apps Facebook slash capital K K I O U I apps uh, and we have a lot of information a lot of little things here that uh, that helps sellers so come join the party we're here to help everybody thank you